Hi everyone, I'm Deep Bubble South, and welcome to Let's Play Team Extreme Operation Weather Disaster. A wonderful nostalgia trip for me, and an introduction to an old failed experiment of Discovery Channel for you. This game was made by Discovery Channel Multimedia and released in 1995. It works with Windows 3.1, as I'm using, and Windows 95. This is one of those wonderful full motion video games that were really popular at the time. Now they're like PT Cruisers and twice as ugly. Team Extreme was designed for ages 10 and up, and for the most part, the puzzles really reflect that. However, there's a shooter element to the game that, especially at the end, makes it nearly impossible to beat. Stratus, scan traces are showing three tornadoes. Two of them have just been upgraded to F5 status. Current speed and heading indicate that they will intersect Chinook, Oklahoma in 20 seconds. Thanks, Millibar. We'll take care of it. I'm not gonna let him get away with this. Just doing my job as an infobot, Stratus. <laughs> you guys copy on that? We're tracking you, Stratus, and please try not to show off this time. After all, F5s are nothing to sneeze at. You worry too much, Josie. This is a walk in the park compared to Catman Do. Think he'll be all right? Sure, mate. He'll be fine. He's done this like a million times before. Not like this, he hasn't. We'll monitor your progress from here. They never let me play with the cool toy. The tornadoes have just hit the trailer park on the outer edge of Chinook. Arm a cyclonic missile, Millibar. Full payload. Armed and ready. Okay, let's do it. Fire. <laughs> Take that! Stratus, scan traces show a life form in the wreckage. A human life form. I see him. We gotta get him out of there pronto. Prepare to set down, Millibar. Charge's low position locator isn't reading. I'm not getting anything from Millibar. I think she's offline. Lovely weather we're having, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's time for a weather report from your friendly neighborhood weatherman. And today's report calls for uh, hurricanes, tornadoes, and, uh, hmm, let's see a moment. Something's missing. Uh, ah, Stratos, <laughs> your so-called leader. Well, let's just say he's uh, retired permanently. And your silly little infobot was of no use to me either. Matter of fact, I don't think she's of use to anyone. Millibar! <laughs> what have you done with Stratus? If you... Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, I could send a brigade of F5 tornadoes marching down on your headquarters. <laughs> but if you leave right now, I could be persuaded to spare your lives. He's bluffing! We can't take that chance. Not after what happened to Stratus. Sound the evacuation alarm. Take the storm runners in the hangar and go to your secondary weather sites. We'll coordinate remotely and see what we can do. Well, I'd wish you all good luck, but uh, then I wouldn't be evil, would I? <laughs> That's right. Maybe Run this away. person in Oklahoma is still Run away. Run away. We'll see. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. I'll be in touch on the coded frequencies. Stay alert. I think I'm going to hide. Now no one can stop me. And the weather. My weather. <laughs> My weather will triumph! <laughs> As you can see, the intro shows us who we're working with. And Please. true to the 90s is composed of a multicultural crew of teens. Also, we get introduced to the best character in the entire game, Nimbo. Is it just me, or does the weatherman look like a cheap Johnny Depp? Gathering the cup and the sock is probably the most creative and realistic item gathering. The rest follow the go to point A and gather item, or trade object 1 for object 2 routine. 
The game is actually a little ahead of its time, as you get to freely rotate 360 degrees. But it's never really utilized, as you can only go in about four directions from any point in the game. The status bar is pretty fun early in the game, but later it just resigns itself to, you can't use X on Y. Fixing Millibar is setting up what will be the majority of the puzzles through the game. Usually you'll have a simple memory puzzle and then later quizzed on some weather-related factoid. I remember the puzzles being easy, even as a child, and hopefully my saying that will not bite me in the ass later when I struggle through something. This puzzle only gets difficult when it skips around across the board. Luckily, it didn't this time. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the end of this puzzle, as it's boring to play and boring to watch. Thank you. Thank you. That appears to be functioning much better now. I am Millibar, the Team Extreme Infobot, and I'm afraid we are in a great deal of danger. I cannot locate Stratus on any of my scan traces, and my short-term memory banks have been glitched. Sorry. Allow me to access backup information from my database archival. This is unfortunate. My database functionality appears jammed. Unless some way can be found to unjam it, my usefulness is, is... Searching? Severely limited. If you can find some way to help, I can retrieve the coordinates for Team Extreme Headquarters and explain further. So Millibar's database screen is jammed, and Geek Squad doesn't exist yet. You can't pry it out with your hands, or a pole, so obviously we have to get creative with it. The storm runner is leaking oil, and since oil fixes everything, we need to fill our cup with it. You can also get an oily sock out of it. Do not try this at home. Thank you again. I will now attempt to reinitialize my database functionality. The database is actually pretty cool. At least As I think so. For Team Extreme, my main function is the storage, retrieval, and synthesis of information. It is exciting and rewarding work, and it is what every young infobot dreams of. Team Extreme assignments are often very risky and require both knowledge and chutzpah. Millibar is Jewish. Who knew? My thesaurus banks seem to be scrambled also. Oh well. My global macro is to provide you with the information necessary to deal with any problem. You may access either my linear database functions or my context-sensitive help functions. Most of my database archives have been scrambled, but I've been able to collate some background information for your update. The database has some great quality videos and miscellaneous facts about weather. When I was a kid, I loved the database because I thought it was the future of encyclopedias. The information is pretty much cut for 10-year-olds, so it'll include silly things like lightning is made out of electricity. The database comes in handy for answering a lot of the random weather questions that are sprinkled across the game. Right now there isn't much information in it, and a severe lack of 270 by 180 videos. I have located Team Extreme Headquarters, but I've encountered another problem. My atmospheric guidance system is burned out. Perhaps if you remove the atmospheric guidance chips from the Storm Runner craft, you can repair the system for me. I would be most appreciative. Uh. 
So the Storm Runner makes no sense. It's apparently full of random chips that it doesn't need that are accessed through the cockpit. Each chip is coded for one atmospheric layer. If the chips are arranged in the correct order, my atmospheric guidance system will be operational again. I believe I was able to recover some atmospheric data from the archives if you need to access my database. Here we are with our random weather question. Perfect. Atmospheric guidance system is online. Oh my. I am detecting an enormous number of tornadoes in the vicinity. We must leave as soon as possible. I will accompany you to Team Extreme Headquarters and serve as your guide. But first, I need to calibrate my nav readings according to the current wind direction. This is becoming simply embarrassing, particularly for an infobot. Particularly for this infobot. I am missing the most important piece necessary for determining wind direction. Can you locate a possible replacement in the vicinity? I feel like the sock would be too heavy to get an accurate reading and would mess up her vector analysis. My nav readings are solid 555. Like my We're thread. Ready to go. From now on, I will accompany you and aid you in any capacity I can. If you need to access my database or health functions, you need only to touch the appropriate control on my interface bar. Let us examine the Storm Runner. Hopefully it'll be in better shape than I am. Scan traces and systems analysis show that the Storm Runner is intact. Barely. Whatever hit it, hit it extremely hard. However, the fuel cells have been completely drained. We must locate an alternative fuel source. How hard can that be in- Midwest joke in three, two, one. Oklahoma? Never mind. There must be something available that we can use. I still have my cup, which means I still need it. So I'm going to fill it with oil, as oil fixes everything. There's only one place we haven't gone in this area, and that's under the water tower. Oh neat, a propane tank. Obviously it's rusted on, but I'll just show you that the wrench alone doesn't work. So you have to pour the oil on, which takes off all the rust. I wish I had this oil. Good work. Now we need some way to attach the tank to the fuel intake. Why did they even well, bother putting the fuel hose in? in Obviously I had to see it when I got the wrench, everything. and it adds Pop nothing in, to the story, and only about five system. seconds of padding. Maybe realism? But the game opened with a guy shooting a tornado with a missile. I have interfaced with the autopiloting system. Our course to Team Extreme Headquarters is now plotted and locked. Please? I know you can do it. I recommend you fasten your seatbelt. This could be a bumpy ride. I believe I know who is to blame for this destruction, as well as for Stratus disappearing. And that could be very bad news indeed. Here we go. Oh, I'm glad I do not have a stomach. Our propane tank has expired, but we are very close to Team Extreme Headquarters. Strange, I am getting no response from Headquarters on any frequency. At the very least, Nimbo should be present. It is extremely important that we gain entry to headquarters as soon as possible. Hopefully we will find some clues as to what has happened to the weather and to the rest of the team. Thanks for watching part one.